Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had an incredible weekend. The Good Good Podcast is back. Garrett addressing some Brian Bros information that you guys have asked me about forever. We have Georgia down in Bermuda. We have a short game video with a lawyer about the Bob does sports and Rick Shields situation. That's interesting. There's a lot to cover. This is a YouTube golf video. This video is about YouTube golf. Uh, that's kind of, if I could just title every video, this video is about YouTube golf. It would just describe and make my job really easy. But anyway, let's get into it. A couple housekeeping things. Uh, I apologize at the beginning, but you're going to want to stick around for these. Number one, the giveaway winners of, of this, my retractable little cleaning brush. So convenient, fits in the palm of your hand and it cleans your golf clubs. This is the best thing ever. Uh, the five winners up on screen, bah, 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 five of you. Uh, if this is one of you, send me a direct message on Instagram. I'm going to verify it's you and I'm going to send you a pack of four of these lovely brushes. Now, if you didn't win, these things are available on Amazon. They sell in packs of four. I've created an Amazon affiliate link or something like that. Basically, it doesn't charge you any extra money, but if you click the first link in my description, you can go buy a four pack of these. They're not expensive. They're like 10 bucks for four. And I'm gonna get like a small commission of that sale, I guess. Uh, it's probably gonna be like 10 cents, but whatever. It's every, every little bit helps. So if you wanna go uh, get a pack of four of these and you didn't win, hit that link in the description. Last thing, speaking of winning, Good Good winning. Right now, I am partnering with Good Good because these giveaways, I, I forgot how fun they are. You guys get so into them. It's so exciting. It's good for the channel. We're doing another one this week. This whole week, you're going to have a chance to enter to win a outfit from my homies over at Good Good. You could win the handsome outfit I'm wearing myself, which is this wonderful polo and this here hat that Garrett actually wore on the podcast today. Or you could pick whatever else you want. Anything from their site, polo, hat. You're going to get an e-gift card to purchase whatever polo and hat combination you want. Uh, just for being subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed yet, which even after all the 60% of you watching still aren't subscribed. So I almost guarantee, just scroll down and check. And if you're not sure, hit that subscribe button and you're gonna be entered to win. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna break the law here, but you know, it's really easy to create multiple Google Gmail emails and then you have multiple YouTube accounts and then you can kind of enter from multiple different accounts. So polo, hat, subscribe, that's all you gotta do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the week of George Bryan. Let's start there. Bermuda. That's why I have the Bermuda content playing behind me. A little preview. This is the championship. This is hole 10. So just the YouTube championship, just so you're aware. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys if you're not at a hole 10 yet. But if you're not at a hole 10 yet, you're not a true YouTube golf fan. If you're not a true YouTube golf fan, you're not watching my videos because these are for YouTube golf fans. Anyways, Bermuda happening this week. The boys are down there. George Bryan, Wesley Bryan, George's PGA Tour debut. Not PGA Tour Latin America or Asia or Canada or it. No, the PGA Tour, like the PGA Tour, playing with his brother Wesley, which is just such a cool Cinderella story. Obviously, George is going through the Q School process right now for Corn Ferry. This guy's just on top of the world. It's the year of the beast. George Bryan is absolutely putting on for the YouTube golf community. You know, Wesley's done it in the past, but we have got to see the evolution of George and kind of him coming up through the ranks. And obviously, this is stuff he's tried to do in the past, but really now just hitting this stride, hitting his prime and playing some incredible golf. It is so cool to watch and it's so cool to watch one of our own represent on that top stage with his brother nonetheless. So we're gonna be tuning in every single round. Y'all gotta check it out. YouTube golf, we all have to get behind George on this because I mean, it's just, it's it's such a cool, such a cool Cinderella story. So best of luck to him. Excited to see everything they put out from Bermuda at the PGA Tour event. Okay, next piece of news. Do you remember last week when I made a video, I think it was last week, about the letter from the Crail Golfing Society around this here video, right here, the Guinness Challenge from Bob to Sports and Fat Perez, and I talked about how Crail had basically sent a letter to its members apologizing for the video, and I guess a lot of its members were probably upset about, you know, the course being portrayed in XYZ way. Rick took down his front nine video, but Bob to Sports with the drinking video on the back nine, I haven't done anything yet and Crail wrote in that letter that they've been actively trying to get the video taken down. Okay, so I, I talked about that, whatever people have their opinions. Last night, Matt Fisher Short Game uploaded this video with this guy by the name of America's Attorney. That's his YouTube channel. He's got like 28,000 subscribers or so. I guess he's a lawyer and he came on and he chatted about some of the legal ramifications. It was interesting. I mean, the, the long and short of it is that like there's probably going to be absolutely nothing that happens, which isn't a shocker to most of us. But I mean, I think at the same time, like, <laughs> listen, you're putting stuff in the internet. Millions of people are watching. If you guys know anything about channels that kind of push the boundaries, like I don't want to compare Bob to sports to like a Nelk videos, like a Nelk boys video. But when you talk about drinking excessive amounts on camera and doing stuff that like, 
you know, might flirt with the line of legality and okay, you can sometimes have, you know, consequences. And I feel like they kind of do push that boundary a little bit. If you're interested in legal stuff, it's an interesting watch listening to this guy talk. Uh, the guy's definitely a character. Um, I'll just say that. He's, he's just his character i don't know if i'd want him defending me but that's fine you know it was an interesting and interesting video nonetheless and it kind of wraps up a little bit about what we talked about in that so bob the sports still has the video up they're never going to delete it in my opinion all right and a final piece of news the good good podcast is back that's right ladies and gentlemen five ish months since the last upload before arizona they basically recapped everything from arizona the good good championships until now uh, it was a good listen. It was. Uh, I, I kind of have had the thought in my head for a long time because this podcast is, I was like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I was like, I should put my hat in the ring to like host it to help make it a more regular thing because these guys are very like sporadic with their, you know, schedules. They're always traveling. They're busy. I'm not as busy. So, you know, I don't know. Comment down below. Do you guys think I should try to get the job to host a good give podcast? I don't think I'd get it given to me. That feels like a big give, but you know, I could always ask. So comment down below. Anyways, back on live. Uh, good, good episode. Steve, Matt, and uh, Garrett, very interesting. They covered, like I said, a lot of their history of events, but one of the very interesting conversations that got sparked up, uh, we're gonna listen to a couple pieces of it together, but basically talking about YouTube golf, professional golf, and who, if anyone, can make it in the professional golf world. I wanna, I wanna hear from you guys. Who do you think actually has what it takes or like could have what it takes to be a professional golfer in the YouTube golf scene? I, I think George Bryan's like the only one. In George, my George, George, yeah. yeah, George has a chance, uh, but like, there's, there's not anybody else that can the, actually do it. The problem is the time investment. Like, I don't think you can do both. Like, no. personally, I mean, you, you think you could be a full time YouTuber not. and try to be a full time professional golfer? No, it's Absolutely one or the not. other. Like, yeah, that's the thing. Is like, if you're gonna be great, you got to focus on it. Like, right. One or the other. <laughs> It just it just jumps right into my world like it really does. They're talk, we're talking YouTube golf. We're talking about, you know, dedicating time to being a pro golf and then dedicating the time to be a professional YouTuber. This is something I've talked about a million times surrounding the Micah story. And then <laughs> Mike's name was not mentioned once in this podcast, but, you know, George Bryan's was it's the only one who has a chance. Anyway, I think it's just funny because I firmly agree with what they're saying. Like I've talked about it before it's with Micah, especially on the YouTube golf side. I've, I've said it that if he wants to be a pro golfer, which for a while it looked like that was really what he was pushing towards. His content was less focused on like matches and less like, I don't want to say less high quality, but it was like he had the iPhone vlogs and he was trying more like lifestyle stuff and like filming more like strictly like raw tournament play, which you know, it's not optimal for YouTube. And like, that's the argument. It's like, if you're gonna dedicate full time to one thing, the other thing is going to drop down. And that's the, it just, you can't do, you, becoming a PGA Tour golfer and becoming a YouTuber that's making a, a full time income from it is you're becoming one of the best in the world at something, you know? And like, it's a stretch. There's a lot more YouTubers than there are golf, golfers on the PGA Tour, don't get me wrong. But like, it, it's hard. Like thousands of people every single day thousands millions of people every single day upload youtube videos and try to be a youtuber right it's the number one job that kids under the age of 18 want nowadays on the on the flip side even more people with even less spots are trying well i don't know about more people but a lot of people are trying to become professional golfers in a very small small pool actually ever get there and so i think the argument is is that being able to do both with any kind of success is nearly impossible but one of the things I love, one of the things I love about what came out of this is Garrett saying that George Bryan is like the chance, like he is the hope. And you know, it could be recency bias because the guy is playing in a PGA Tour event with a sponsor exemption this week, but he's been successful through Q School. He won pre-qualifying, he qualified through first stage and he's going on to second stage now. So like he legitimately could be playing on the Corn Ferry Tour next year, which is absolutely incredible. It's interesting. It's an interesting juxtaposition, but the reason why I wanted, one of the reasons why I thought this was interesting to bring up is because for some reason, I get so many questions from you guys about why Good Good and Brian Bros don't collab. I think everyone thinks there's like some behind the scenes beef. So I'm just gonna come out from my perspective. As far as I'm aware, there absolutely isn't any. Like there really isn't. Like I think it's just probably two things. One, logistics. Both of these guys are busy. Two of them are playing nearly on the PGA Tour, have families, have a YouTube channel. This other group is probably the busiest group in YouTube. They're traveling almost every week. They're booked months and months and months in advance. Plus, the numbers don't really make sense. Brian Bros have less than like one fifth the subscribers that Good Good does. And if you guys know anything about top big YouTube group collaborations, 
typically there has to be like some equality and trade-off and that's not good good being that's everyone that's everyone like rick shields whatever nobody no rick shields good good level is gonna like cut like you're not gonna see me in a good good video with like a clap and like me in the title and me in the thumbnail it's not gonna happen because like there's no value to good good in doing that It'd be a lot of value to me but there's no value to good good and that does extend to like you know even a couple hundred thousand subscribers when you're talking about you know, a million and a half subscribers and regularly pulling half a million views on every single video you upload. There's not a lot of quality in that. So I think those are the two things. It's just like the business side and the like, you know, scheduling side. But I really don't think there's any beef. George was in a lot of early good, good videos, hearing Garrett talk about him in this, saying that he's the only YouTuber that has a chance. They obviously pay attention. I think there's just playful banter. You know, I think Wes, seeing a collaboration between these, these groups would be absolutely incredible in my opinion, because Wesley is just the king of chirps and i don't really know if anyone in good good is like that good at chirping so like i feel like that would be interesting to watch that dynamic but anyways i don't think there's any beef at all i think it's absolutely just the two reasons i outlined and i think maybe it could happen one day maybe in some big group form obviously if we have this youtube masters type event at some point that rick's been touting youtube golf coming together is always a good thing but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video big one big wrap up start the week have a good one i'll see you in the next one